All right, so the Seller Leads app is where all of the important seller information, like the property, lead temperature, all that is housed, and we're gonna make that right now. All right, so if this is the first video you're catching in the series, please go back and watch the previous two videos so that you're not confused as to what we're doing here. If you're coming from that last video, then awesome, let's get started. And uh, there will be a link to that first video coming across the screen here to try to help some people out. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? You know, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm in the 200s right now. I think it'd be really awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you see future videos and uh, like this video so you can mark it as complete as well. So let's get started. So creating a seller leads app is much exactly the same as creating the contacts app, except it's gonna be a standard app and instead of a contacts app. If you watched the last video, you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna make, we're gonna actually create that app. So let me jump into the computer here. All right, so up here, you're gonna go add app, create your own app, item, app name, call it seller leads, item name, seller lead, standard, so leave this standard, advanced, let's go see exactly what mine has. So we got seller leads, click the wrench, App settings, so leads, oh, item name seller, standard layout, table, advanced, nothing checked. Nothing checked on the uh, seller leads app. Cancel, all right, so once you do that, you will have created your seller leads app. Uh, go ahead and click on add seller. And if you're starting from scratch, chances are it's completely blank, which is, which is perfect. So what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna be making. There's a lot more stuff going on here than, uh, than in the contacts app. So this is gonna take a little bit longer to do, but, and I'm, I might speed this up a little bit. From making the last contacts app, I think you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna click through every single one so you'll know exactly what to make. Pause this video, create, create the field. Pause the video, create the field. Do that throughout this so you have this set up exactly like this. So let's go modify template because you know what that means now. This is what we're gonna be making. All right, so let's start from the beginning here. Seller is going to be, and remember from the left-hand side here, right, pay attention to this detail, is a relationship. This icon means relationship. Multiple references is how I have it selected, nothing else, and you're gonna label it seller. So now I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna do this now for each one of these, I'm gonna go kind of fast. So like I said, pause the video if you have to. All right, so we've got a category, that's what this is, single choice, drop down list, call it temperature, and then this, just make it exactly like I have it for now. If you wanna tweak things later, that's totally okay. It's just like the contacts app, just make it how I have it, tweak it, customize it later, all right? So make all these, single choice, drop down list, temperature, category, all right. The next thing is a calculation field. So this, this is so that you can have a separator in, you'll, you'll have like property information, offer information, whatever. This is, let me just show you that. So if I, all right, I'm gonna make a new contact. Jane Doe, seller. And you don't have this automation yet. It's common though. Demo, whatever, 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 whatever. Save contact. I'm gonna create my seller lead. So now I'm over in the seller leads app. And you see this right here, property information with a bar separating it? That doesn't just appear, so we have to make that. So that's what this is. So modify template. And what you wanna do is just copy this exact same thing. And when you copy and paste it down below in the future, so this is the name, property information, just do this exactly. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna have to type unique at unique ID each time. If you just copy and paste the formula, it may not search that unique ID. So you need to like hit at unique. You need to make sure you go through this step and click on it. All right. 
Actually, I'm just gonna leave without saving. Leave and uh, go back into it because I don't wanna. Right? Um, we're in the contacts. Don't want the contacts. So, seller leads. I have a Jane Doe there. All right. Modify template. So we're back to the beginning. All right, you have the seller. You just did that. You did the temperature. In this, you're going to create a calculated field, and you're going to remake this and call it just dash. And then this is exactly what you're going to input there. If you have any questions about that, drop a comment. All right, but pretty straightforward. The next thing is property address map. This is the property address, and uh, it's a location field. Single line, show map. Next one is property type. It's a category, single choice, drop down list. And then this is the, the common ones that I come across. Just make these exactly like mine for now. Next thing is lots, lot size square footage. I use display whole number. I don't care about the decimals. And it is a number field. Do not use the money. Don't use that field for anything. Just use the number. Finish square footage, that's the same thing. It's a number field, display whole number. Your built is a text. I know that um, it's a number but just do it as a text field. I'm actually not entirely sure why it just works. Just do it that way on this one. Multi-line, I guess is what I have it. Your built text. Bedrooms, required. Single choice, drop down list. Don't worry about it being required. Um, it, it, will default to unknown. So it will be filled out um, so for you to save the lead. Or or you have to go and select unknown if you don't know how many bedrooms. But that's because bedrooms and bathrooms are an important one. Just do it like this for now. Required field, single choice, drop down list. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bathrooms, same thing. Required field, single choice, drop down list category unknown garage man this is gonna be a long video I hope I hope this is helping you out I hope uh, I hope you're getting a lot of value out of this but man all right category required field single choice drop down list here are the fields basement is also a category same required field single choice drop down list and these are your Yes, finished, yes, unfinished, no, blah, blah, blah. Major repairs. So these are like the five, but you know, we're not getting into that, that's a separate video. We're just making the podio. It's another category. Uh, I do not require, I don't think anything else in the lead form. So multiple choice and inline on this one. And then you're gonna have the, the five big items here. Property condition, category again, single choice, inline, Cosmetic, and this is how you, it, it kind of goes in with how you estimate rehab. I did an estimating rehab video, so this will make sense if you've seen that video. Occupancy status, category again, single choice, inline. And I hope you understand what I'm saying when I say category. Over here, the field you're bringing in is called category. So occupancy status, vacant, owner, occupied, rented. Time frame for selling, single choice, inline. ASAP, less than 30 days, 39, 90. And I just have these, you can mess with these colors if you want. You know, if they want to go ASAP, it's like code red, hot one, right? Less than 30 days is pretty, pretty there. 30 to 90 days and then you have cold 90 plus days. Reason for selling, this is just a text field. Single line, let me just make sure, time frame for selling, I wasn't sure, single choice in line. Reason for selling, single line, it's a text field. Is there anything owed against the property? So this is, and I have this as a question. Is there anything owed against the property that we need to pay off? You can just put mortgage amount if you want. You can label this whatever you want. It's a category, single choice, inline. 
It's basically, is there anything out against it, yes or no? And then you got a number field. Do you know roughly how much? So how much is the mortgage? And then that's gonna be a number field, display whole number. How much you looking to walk away with? This is also a number field. And this is just more questions that we ask the seller. Display whole number. Sometimes we can get creative with deals uh, depending on, on what's owed against the property. How much is how much is the mortgage roughly? Or how much is your payment roughly? That's a number, display home number. And then asking price. Some people ask how much you're looking to walk away with. Some people say how much you're looking to get for it. You know, what's your asking price, that type of thing. It, it really depends. So this is the price. And uh, display whole number. And you can label it whatever you want. Like I said, price, asking price, whatever. You wouldn't, and this is if you want to do creative financing, you wouldn't be willing to take payments for a year or two, would you? Just to see if they'd be open to seller financing. And that's a category. It is a single choice and inline. And these are the responses. Notes. That is a text field. Multi-line because you're gonna have a lot of notes. As you talk to people a lot, they'll, you'll have a ton of notes. You can also do that in your comments section of Podio on the right hand side if you wanna do it there. I prefer to do it kind of in a mixture of things. It's like these are the hot notes and the other notes are in the comments. Multi-line. And then another separator. So this was all property information basically, right? And you know that from the separator. So you're gonna take that separator and we got it again and you label it the same. It is a calculation field and you're gonna just change this part of it called stage of lead and offer tracking. That's the next section we're gonna be building. And it looks like we're about, based on this bar here, it looks like we're about halfway through creating this. It looks like that was like the meat of it. So stage of lead and offer tracking. First thing is stage of lead, and it's a category, single choice, drop down list, new lead, in follow up active, in follow up passive, added a drip campaign. My Podio has a drip campaign. Um, just create this exactly like this. So if you wanna add stuff in the future, whatever, like we said, create all these, all right? And if I didn't do it already, I think I did, but single choice, drop down list. Comp status, this is for me. So if I have my team member right now, if she inputs a, a lead in and she's talking to them and then they're like, yeah, we're interested in selling and then they get serious and she wants me to cop it so she can put an offer, then she flags that for me and I have, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? I'll, that's in a separate video. Comp status, it's a category, required field, um, single choice, in line. Okay, it's a category. The next one is a category two. It is drip campaign. Um, these are the drip campaigns that I currently have, but, right, just create it. I know you don't have drip campaigns, but just put them in there anyways. Always hidden, single choice, drop down list. Offer stage, it's a category. Single choice, in line, verbal offer, contract sent, contract signed, date of last offer sent. In Podio, this is how you can keep track of how many offers did you make each week. You just filter by this date range and it'll tell you how many were in that week. So date of last offer sent. That is actually a date. So you're gonna drag a date field in here and you're gonna hide time entry and hide end date because you don't really care. You just care when you actually made the offer. So that's it for that section. Next, we got drip campaign controls. Um, this drip campaign, yeah, always hit it. So just make it, it's not even gonna show, just make it. Uh, all right, drip campaign controls. Just make this. I know you don't have drip campaigns yet, just put this in here. Just trust me, just do it. Because if you want your campaigns in the future, it'll already have, you'll already have like the bones set up and it'll be easier to just make. So, unique ID, you're gonna create this whole thing again. 
another dash called drip campaign controls. It is a calculation field. And then you've got e-marketing permitted. It's category, single choice, inline. Okay, unsubscribe. Drip, single choice, inline, category, running test and stop drip. Active campaign. You are going to do multiple references and label it active campaign. If it gives you an error here, so let me just test it right now. Let's go in a relationship and it wants you to select an app. So yeah, I think it'll let you save. If it doesn't, let me just double check. It's called relationship down here. Yeah, so it's fine. Modify template. I'm gonna go back down to that section, which I think we were just there. And I'm gonna delete this. So don't hook it up to an app. You don't need to. Just do multiple references, label it active campaign, and just leave it in there. Then you have start drip. This is a date, show time entry, show end date, start drip, show entry time, show end date on next drip. It's also a date field. You've got a number sequence, display whole number, next sequence number, right? That's it for the drip. You have that in there. You've got the bones in there. Next thing, offer calculations. It's gonna be a calculated field. We know this, we've already done this like two or three times now. ARV is a number field, displaying whole number called ARV. Estimated rehab, this is a whole number also. Rentometer median rent, that's gonna be display whole number. All right, these calculation fields you cannot put in here yet because you're just now creating the rentometer and estimated rent. So it doesn't know these exist yet until you save this and go back into it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say rentometer median rent. All right, you've done that. So click on done at this point. It's gonna save your form. Go straight back in to modify template. And now go back down to this section. So estimated rehab, renometer median rent, you have that in there. Now you're gonna drag in a calculated field. All right, I'm gonna remake it right now for demo. I'm not actually gonna keep this in here. And you're gonna create this, this formula and you're gonna label it ballpark flip offer, parenthesis, and then you're gonna do at sign ARV, which you just made times 0.75 don't worry about the specifics that's right just make this you can change that stuff later at estimated rehab minus 10,000 or whatever your wholesale fee is right and that's how you create this calculation I'm not I don't have a need for that so I am going to delete that one I already have mine here Ballpark rent offer is the same thing. You already have this stuff in here from up here. So just do like we just did with this calculation and do this down here. It's also a calculated field. Display two decimal. I don't know why I'm gonna change that to whole number. Cause I don't care. Same with this one. Display whole number. So I'm actually gonna save that and come back. We're at lead tracking information. So we're almost done. Stick with it. This is the one of the longer ones. Go back into modify template. Get back to where we were. All right. Lead tracking information. This is another separator. Make that. Label it a dash. Right? All right. Image. This might have already been in there. I'm not sure, but add image in here or just drag it up from the bottom if it was already part of the app and always hidden so i'm not even using that one right this is going to be your generated by so when you create the contact you select this so what our automation is going to do in a couple videos is it's going to know you selected it there it's going to auto create this lead and it's going to select that for you already all right generated by it's a category single choice drop down list 
correspondence. And if this is just you, then just put you. Or you can put a filler in here. You can put like team member one or whatever. Um, but if it's just you, just put you. Correspondence, category, single choice, inline, SMS, call, email. I never get emailed. We don't do any email right now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, correspondence, lead source, category, single choice, inline, we're almost at the end. This video has to be grueling. Lead source, call it this. Again, this is these three are all stuff that is in the contacts app that gets auto-filled because you select it over there. It's gonna get auto-filled once we make it do that, which we're gonna do in a couple videos. Campaign, this is another relationship. Oh, this is the bottom. Campaign is another relationship. Drag that in here, call it campaign. Don't worry about, it's gonna to try to ask you to select an app. Don't select one, just move on with it. Current acquisitions manager. If you're the only person in your company, then that's awesome. Doesn't matter. So member, this is a member. Drag that over. Don't check anything there. Call it current acquisitions manager. Stripped phone number, that's in our contacts. Don't worry about it, we're gonna build that later. Text, drag it in here single line stripped phone and then you've got another last s separator and that's for picture link and uh and whatever so do another one of those with the dash and then you have a link drag then drag that down and then don't check anything call it picture link google drive that's what i use google google drive i need some water all right so that was we're done with that that is the seller lead so now you've got got Podio Premium, Premium. you've got your contacts app, you've got your seller leads app. Whew. The next thing we're gonna do is, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get smartphone, connect that to this Podio in the next video. Don't forget to mark this video complete by hitting the like button if you like the video, and uh, I will see you over on the next one.